we now want to find the slope of a line from its graph. Now we already have the formula for slope m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If we start with the graph, we will need to select two convenient points so that we can fill in the formula. Usually these are going to be the y and x-intercepts. Then we use our slope formula above on these two points. Let's try an example. Let's look at this line. Now we can pick any points we want, but this looks like a convenient point. It has the coordinates 1, 0. And this is a convenient point. It looks like 0, 2. Please notice this is the y-intercept because the x value is 0. And this is the x-intercept. So to find the slope, take m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Let's call this point x1 and y1. Let's call this x2 and y2. So we take y2, 2 minus y1, 0, divided by x2, 0, minus x1, which is 1. So we have 2 over 1. So the slope of this line is negative 2. Please notice that the slope is negative and the line is going down. You should always double check to make sure that a negative slope has a line going down, positive slope has a line going up. Let's look at this second graph. Please notice that each space on the x-axis is 10, each space on the y-axis is 2. So you have to be a little bit more careful. So we're trying to find the slope. Once again, we're going to apply the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. It's important that you memorize this formula to make it easier. So we're going to select two points. Now, last time we picked where it crossed the x-axis, but here it goes to the origin. So we need to find another point. Let's select this point out here. So this appears to have coordinates 32, and this looks like the point 0, 0. So we'll call this our x1, y1. We'll call this our x2, y2. So to apply the formula, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we have 2 over 30, which equals 1 15th will be the slope of this line. Now this is a positive number and it is going up. Now you might say 1 15th is a rather small number. Had this been stretched out, this line would have been closer to horizontal.